What's good YouTube, Ben here. Welcome to the next video on the channel. In this one, I'm gonna give you a quick tutorial on how you can merge your TikTok, Twitch, YouTube chats into one on-screen chat box for your live streams. Let's get into this. All right, so I stream on Twitch, YouTube, and TikTok all at the same time. Um, so don't forget to, you know, Join me on Twitch and TikTok. If you want to see my streams in full 1080p, join me on those platforms. Links down below for both of them. And my streams here on YouTube at the same time are in shorts form some more for mobile. So don't forget to turn on notifications and subscribe if you want to catch those streams. But so I have an on-screen chat box, which I'll insert a clip somewhere in this video so you can see the chat box in operation. Um, but basically, you can merge them all into one thing. Now the program I'm going to be using is a little bit questionable. Some people say it works. I've never had an issue with it, um, which you'll see. And then a lot of people say they do have a problem. So now I've only also tested this works with a lot of platforms. I've only tested this with YouTube, TikTok, and Twitch. I've not tested it with like Kick or Trovo or anything else. Um, but without any further ado, I'll link it in the description below beneath my links. Go follow me on those. It's called Social Stream. Now, Social Stream is a program that allows you to basically add sources in that allow you to then have them all go into one on-screen chat box or into a dock on OBS, which is great because if I load up my streaming version of OBS, you'll see what I'm getting at. So because I stream on all three platforms, I need enough stuff there so that I can see what's going on, right? So this is my OBS for streaming. Now I have my chat. This is social stream. So this, when someone, when it's all connected and someone's typing on Twitch or on um, YouTube or TikTok, it'll all appear here for me to see it, which is great. Uh, my TikTok gifts and then my Twitch channel points, which I've, I know I've not spelled correctly. I need to change the name. And then my event list, which is like alerts for Twitch and YouTube, right? Now, because they're the platforms I use, these are the docs that I need. Now, when it comes to the on-screen chat box, I've also got it on screen here. Uh, my chat is right there. So it's this box here. This is where my chat appears, which is great because it's going to allow you to have it all on screen, essentially. I'm probably waffling, but I'm just trying to explain it in a way where it makes sense. Um, so with that all there, this all works. Now, I will point this out. For those who want to add YouTube in, you're going to have to add it in individually for each stream. At least I have had to. If you try and do it through YouTube username or video ID, I've never gotten it to work like that. With YouTube, what you have to do is create the source every time. And when you're on YouTube, I'm listening to like Zelda soundtrack. It's freaking awesome. But um, we're going to hit go live. And um, when you hit go live, you'll have your like little temporary chat box appear here. I'll go into TikTok and Twitch in a minute. Don't worry. Um, when it wants to load. Thank you. Why was it taking so long? Uh, but you want to hit pop out chat, grab the the link for that chat, go to social stream, and then you want to go down to the bottom, other chat sites. This is for YouTube, by the way. You don't need to do this for TikTok or Twitch. Um, other chat sites, this will pop up, paste the URL in, hit OK. It'll automatically register as YouTube anyway, and then that will allow you to add it. Um, and then to add in Twitch and stuff, all you have to do, so let me just get rid of my Twitch, go to Twitch, another box will literally type in your Twitch username, so Ben does variety is mine, click OK, and there you go, that adds the source in, the same for TikTok, all you do is click that, go to TikTok, uh, add in username, so mine again would be Ben does variety, it's the same across all my socials, I cannot spell. And there's variety, click OK. And then that adds all of them in as sources, which is great. So these are all added in. And like I said, you can go with stuff like Facebook, you can do Kick, you can do Trovo, you can do Instagram, like whatever networks you use to stream. Perfect. You can add them all in. Now, to add them in as a doc, it's very simple as well. What you need to do is so if I go to like my recording OBS, uh, which is where I'm currently recording. Um, so you're going to see a lot of like this stuff happen, but get this and we want to copy this link. So this is the doc. So you want to click copy link. 
right click it, copy link, and then if you go into OBS, and wait, now I need to turn the preview off. It'll probably help. Uh, simple preview. There we go. So what you want to do is go to docs, custom browser doc. Uh, we'll call it, I don't know, chat. Just call it chat. Oh my God, I cannot spell chat. And then paste the link, click apply, and that then adds it as a doc, which you can then add into OBS. And oh yeah, so firewall stuff will appear. Just click allow access. This will happen every time you boot social stream and go to connect it. It'll ask you to go through Windows firewall. Don't worry, it's completely safe. It's fine. Uh, but this is where all your on-screen chats will appear. Uh, if I quickly go ahead and activate YouTube source. So that'll activate. If I put a test in, it should come through. Uh, give it a minute to connect. We'll also activate Twitch as well. Sure, we'll activate TikTok. Why not? Now, I will point out when you activate TikTok, it'll have this next to it. Use WebSockets and insert only. Um, activate WebSockets. You need to for this. But that's how you add in YouTube. As you can see, YouTube is added. Um, if we go to Twitch, I can't show you TikTok without actually going live. Uh, but I will insert a stream clip of it working so you guys can see it does work. But I'll go to Twitch quickly. Hey, Faith, thanks for sharing the live on TikTok. I appreciate it. How you doing? Don't forget, if you're watching on YouTube, to like the stream on mobile by double tapping that screen. I'd really appreciate it. If you're watching on TikTok, don't forget to smash that screen to show some support. I would greatly appreciate it. But we're about to purify... Stupid. Let's go. Uh, type in testing. There you go. Twitch is working as well. Um, but the same works for TikTok. Once you're live, that's basically it. Like, essentially, that's it. Like, that allows it to all add in. And to add it on screen, literally, I so you can add on the, the feature chat overlay. I don't even bother with this. What I do is I literally just add this as a source itself. Um, so copy the link, and then all we literally need to do is just add that as a browser source, call it chat, add that in, and then you literally just paste in that link, and that basically does it. Testing. Like, it'll all come through on that chat box. There are a lot of stuff you can also do to... Um, So there's a lot of stuff you can also do to customize it as well. Like if re oh, I closed social stream, didn't I? Like an idiot. Yeah, that's why that didn't show up on the chat box. Um, I just activate sources again. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. So I closed it off. I went to minimize it. But it is what it is. Activate source. Um, so if I quickly pull this back over, see a bit of preview. Uh, type in testing again. It comes through petting. You'll see it comes through on screen. It'll work with all your chats. It's literally the same thing, just on screen. And then, of course, you can resize it to whatever size you need it to be. Um, but that basically sorts that out. So it's really freaking cool that it adds it on screen. But it'll do it for all three platforms or any of the platforms that you add from this side all at the same time, which is awesome. Uh, but there's a lot of stuff you can edit, like, for example, visibility. So you can make it so that um, avatars get hidden, which I do do. I hide timestamps because there's no reason to have timestamps. Um, show just the first two badges I have on to minimize the chat as well. Uh, one thing I do have on mine, which I do prefer the look of, is in styling, I believe. Yeah. So message appears on its own line under the name. So, like, I have the name appear on top and then the message appear underneath. Just makes things look a bit cleaner for me. But let me know what you think about this video in the comments down below. Don't forget, like I said, I do live stream. When I go live, I go live here on YouTube, Twitch, and TikTok all at the same time. My streams on YouTube are in, like I said, shorts, form, some more for mobile. But if you want to catch the exact same streams at the exact same time in full 1080p, then go ahead and join me on Twitch and TikTok. Those links are down below. The link for social stream is going to be down below in the description as well, uh, but no, below my links. So follow me on those. Don't forget, you can also support the channel further by becoming a channel member. Promise as little as 99 pence per month here in the UK. I'll catch you guys in the next one.